Uh, it's Facebook. <laughs> Good evening. This is your boy T. Ruff, owner and operator of Wiseman TV. Uh, and I'm here with your main man, uh, new, new Look Images. Um, one of the best photographers, a good friend of mine. Hey, how you doing, Corey? I'm well, I'm well. How are you, Thomas? I'm well. Okay, yeah, take it away, Corey. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Thomas, for getting the introduction started. Um, hello again, everyone. I am Corey, and I am the owner of New Look Images Photography. Uh, welcome back to the show. We're here once again. Um, we got a great show for you. We got a couple special guests and I'll get right into it. I am sitting with, uh, virtually of course, with my guy, Michael Nimo. Um, very good photographer, been doing it a long time, pretty much a mentor. Uh, how are you this evening? Doing okay, Corey. Uh, Thomas, hi. I'm doing all right, hanging out here in the North Shore, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, you know, we were talking a little bit, but, you know, how have you been holding up during COVID and, you know, the, the separation from people, that type of stuff? Well, you know, it's, you know, I, I probably was like everybody else. The first month I worked out every day and was out taking pictures, like I can conquer this. And then I kind of went into that. I think I'll just eat and sleep. And, but the last month or so, I've been just really determined to get back to shooting and, um, if I can't shoot people, I go out and shoot scenery or still life in the studio, but, uh, it's getting kind of cabin fever esque, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, it most definitely is, especially when you're so used to just being, um, being busy and, and always having something to do. Um, yeah. So, and, people. <laughs> yeah and people, yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. As a portrait photographer, having people is a really good thing. <laughs> For sure, for sure. And it, it, it also, um, you know, it can hurt. It, I'm, I'm sure business has not been what it normally is during these times for you. Oh, no, not at all. Um, no, uh, but I don't think it's me. Um, I think it's for everybody. And I, I, I mean, you just got to kind of, I mean, being a photographer, for one, you, you really have to learn how to budget money because it's a very much of a roller coaster ride. And Absolutely. now. Now Which it's is even usually more. the case when you're working for yourself, right? Um, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's the challenge. Um, right. You know, I'm sort of branching out doing a few more um, production type jobs. I uh, do a lot of um, artists, copy artist work, and I have a large format Epson printer. So I've been printing work for people, you know, many stools of income, many legs on the stool, you know, so um yeah it's right, tough <laughs> right yeah no no i definitely hear that um but i do want to get into okay so talk to us about um you know what started you in photography i know you've been doing it a lot longer than me um, oh how honestly you, how you got to be where you are today wow um you know it's a my dad had a um had a part-time job in a camera store when i was a child so I used to go with them on Saturdays and hang out. And I was just totally infatuated by the cameras and technology of it all. And right. like anybody else growing up in the 60s, we had Life Magazine and Time Magazine and Look and all these great photo magazines. And, you know, I was just hooked when I was a kid. By the time I was 10, it's all I wanted to do and it's all I ever did. Right, right. Well, no, you knew you knew early. Um, and that's awesome. That's awesome. A lot of people still haven't figured it out. So yeah, right. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I listened, you know, to everybody growing up, oh, you'll never be able to survive being a photographer, you know, get a real job. Right. So, you know, I went to college for engineering and tried that played that game for a little while and didn't like it. And, and I was like, early 20s, 24, 25, I just bailed and bought a view camera. And that was it, just never <laughs> looked back. Yeah, so, so yeah, so you started, um, you actually have the advantage of having started with film. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, 
I printed professionally for like 20 years. But I, I spent an inordinate amount of time in a dark room. <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> and just talk about briefly, and then we'll, we'll start to get into some of your photos here. Um, what were the challenges of switching from, from film over to digital? And you know, how long did it kind of take you to adjust? And, and... Well, it took me a while because you know, as a film photographer and you know, a guy who had been doing it for 25 years, right. um, I didn't really know how to approach digital in the sense of like, at first I, 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 I treated it like film, you know? Everything had to be perfect and I had to really apply the old ways of shooting. And it took me a couple of years before a friend of mine bought me, um, like, I think it was like exposure or one of these plugins for Lightroom. Right. And they have kinds of filters and fun things. And, you know, I sort of realized that to make, you know, to make a digital image your own, you, you need to modify it, you know, sort of like we did in the dark room by, you know, changing our developers up or whatever and made it exclusively your own. So now I, I, I enjoy digital as much as film. I still shoot film. Right. But, oh, you do? I did, that I didn't oh, yeah, I, I've been doing um, a, a four by five pinhole project, um, which I don't, I, when I'm ready to show it, it, it will come out. But um, I, yeah, I mean, it's, so I'm doing some of that. I have a Hasselblad that I play with occasionally just because um, I have it. <laughs> right. You know, and then I scan everything and then print it inkjet. So we, I don't have a, a wet dark room anymore. I just developed the film. Right. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, so fun. You yeah, know? you've been on a journey. It's been a. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, you get that smell. It's it's nostalgic. You know. I, right. I started developing film when I was like a sophomore in high school. And, oh wow. You know, we, me and my friend, uh, sort of commandeered the dark room in high school and made it our own. Okay. That was it. I loved it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. So I am going to, um, if we can start with your first photo, that'll be up in just a moment. All right. Yeah, I sent you more than, but I figured you could pick the ones you like. Right. Oh, okay. my favorite. Halloween. Uh, my pirate girls. <laughs> yeah, that's Callie. And I don't know the other, the other model. Yeah. Her name, um, her name was Becca. She, she, uh, I don't even know. Well, she modeled for her with this, but she's um, a librarian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, oh, this, this looks like a painting. This is really nice. Yeah. Well, that was done in, in the Salem studio. It's one of the old pictures that I sent you. Um, but it's very studio done, you know. We, and, but we whipped that up in like a half an hour. And, I, I just wanted to sort of get a little kitschy with the pirate thing. And Becca had all these costumes that her mother had. So we had a blast. Yeah, um, no, that's awesome. And is, is that trunk really in the background or did you shop oh, that yeah, in? No, everything's there. I mean, I don't, I don't do any, I can't, I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. So you have the trunks there, the backgrounds, um, they were all in the studio and I just threw it all together. And, um, you know, when you have two girls running around dressed like that, you're like, oh, I can work hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. No, that's, that's an excellent, excellent uh, photo. Okay, so then we'll move on to the next here. Just a moment. I love that old school gun too. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I, I mean, you know, we had all, we had all the props. And if you blew, if the shot was wider, I had an old whiskey barrel and, um, we had, uh, yeah, we had a lot of cool stuff. I, I, I've been collecting trunks ever since I did that shot because I'd like to do a, another pirate shot with the background all just sea trunks. Um, I think that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. All right, we're just waiting for yeah, so waiting for one more photo to come up. Um, but yeah, why don't you? I know you. You told me uh, you're starting your gallery back up. 
Yeah, um, the, the Nemo Gallery. We're, um, yeah, we're doing first Friday events, 25 people in the space at a time. And we start early and we go late. So everybody gets a chance to see the art. Yeah. Uh, Yosef, uh, I just did this shot last month for this guy. He's an amazing violinist. And we did a photo session for his... He was doing a virtual album with jazz players from all over the world. And ironically, he didn't pick any of the shots that I liked, but <laughs> <laughs> he got what he needed. And uh, I got a, an awesome shot of, of him. Uh, again, all in the studio, you know, fairly well lit. We, we've got probably six or seven lights going on him. You know, I tried to light the violin, his hand. Right. And you know the background a little bit. Um, the images seem to get a little compressed on Facebook, but you get oh, the absolutely. Idea. Facebook, uh, Facebook doesn't. Um, Facebook doesn't yeah. do justice right. at all. To I, I, I know because I, I just made a um, a twenty four by thirty whatever print of him. Um, it's really cool. We did it on. I, I print it printed it on. Epson watercolor hot press paper. It's really nice. Okay. Really okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and your use of black and whites is impressive. Um, yeah. Yeah. I. I mean, you know, while I was a film photographer, I. I. I was just a black and white photographer. Um, okay. You know, so I, I spent like. You know, fifteen years of my professional career just black and white. So that's all I did. Yeah. And, so, you know, color, color confuses me at times. It gets a little, whoa, it's, you know. Uh, yeah, well, I think people don't realize um, there's still a lot of skill in black and white. Uh, just real quick before we get to this photo, you know, your color. contrast your contrast is very apparent and um, your shadowing. So no, you, you still have to put in a lot of work to, to get the good black and whites. Yeah, so um, this shot, I did this, last week, I think. Um, okay. My friend Aya um, is a world-renowned yoga teacher uh, from California. And she was my intern in the 90s. So every year she makes a pilgrimage home and we get together and hang out and do something. So this was just down on a river, uh, the Ipswich River, right down the street from the studio. Okay. And I, I enhanced this a little and Photoshop, which I, I don't usually do, but right. I I selected the uh, sky and I saturated the blue yep. to make it really pop out from the, the background. But the background was pretty much that, you know, the reflection in the pool was, was pretty much that. It, it, it's intense. And then I, you know, did the basics on her to lighten her up a bit. Um, awesome shot. I, 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 <laughs> I love it, you know? And this no. is, you know, the antithesis of what I like in generally is a black and white. And then here I go and I put all this like vibrance right in your face. But uh, absolutely, absolutely well done. She liked it. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in California and everything's burnt out there. So yeah. Oh man, the skies are orange. Yeah, that's a terrible situation that's going on. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Out in Cali right now. Yeah, yeah. they definitely need some more help than what they're getting, that's for sure. I think the whole country does, but we won't go with that. Um, <laughs> I should wear my mask. <laughs> oh, some kind of mermaid type of thing? Huh? Kind of mermaid? Uh, oh, well, the same woman as before. This is a shot we did last summer. Um, so, you know, like I said, we, we get together once a year and do a shoot. Uh, but she's, again, yoga dancer, so her pose. But yeah, very mermaid-esque. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I love that shot. I, well, you know, I toned it all down for family friendly, but- um, Right, right. Yeah, that was out on um, the, uh, Magnolia Rocks up here in Gloucester. And just a beautiful summer day and a beautiful girl. And, you know, I, I, everything I shoot outside, I don't use flash outside anymore. 
Uh, so it's, it's all about just getting a really good exposure. And, you know, you have to really be cognizant with all that background light coming around to focus your exposures on her face and, you know, get in the ballpark. But yeah, I love, I love the line of her hand. I mean, she's such a beautiful woman and such a beautiful dancer that mm. everything flows, you know? Mm. Yeah, wow. that's important. Um, lines and symmetry when it comes it, to... It, it really is, you know, uh, and th that's kind of my biggest complaint about a lot of the young photographers. People aren't taking the time to just frame their shots. You know, they think that everything can be just shut, shoot, 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 and fix it later. And, and it's really figure important. It out. To, yeah, it's yeah, fun. no. The, do it right in camera. It'll be so yeah. much more easy on you when you're, <laughs> when you're editing later. Yeah, and fill the frame with your subject. You don't need, I mean, you know, everybody got it that we're at the beach. Right. Um, you know, right. you don't need all this headroom and, and stuff. And just, you know, apply the rule of thirds, children. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And it works. And it works. It does. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of funny, huh? There's not yeah. many rules in photography, you know? <laughs> no, but yeah, no, like you said, filling up the frame versus having this little person and then a whole bunch of background, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I, I mean, occasionally that works too, but for the most part, as a portrait photographer, it's all about, you know, people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, was, that, was that it as far as your photos there? No, nah, there were like 10 more. Oh, okay. Um, let's do two more for you. Um, all right, so here's one. All right, that's uh, I, 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 my day job right there. Is, Headshots? Uh, that's my day job. I shoot attorneys um, and firms. So I do a lot of law firms, accounting firms, consulting firms. So I'll go in, set up, you know, a, a day in the, their office and bang out um, headshots. It's... Uh, my day job. <laughs> yeah, no, something has to pay the bills, right? <laughs> right, right, right. You know, I mean, yeah. it's not as creative, but you know, I, I still like to, you know, there's no reason why a lawyer or an accountant can't look as good as anybody else. So, you know, just right. cause you know, they're, they, they have to present a professional appearance. So, you know, but I still like it kind of glamorous. Yeah, no, that, that one. And then we got one more for you. Um, and then I will let you talk about your gallery. Oh, good. Sure. Yes, yes. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Uh, ah, you guys oh. went all, all the color shots. That's, that's funny. Um, <laughs> so I did this last month down, um, that's in Lanesville, and the sun sets there every night. <laughs> and, and a model friend of mine's Lisa. Um, she's a super pro model. She's been around forever, mm. uh, Lisa Nielsen. And she grabbed me and was like, come, let's just go. I, I want you to get that shot. Right. And, you know, here we were trying to be the mermaid and the, the dancer on the rocks. I love um, the sunset. The golden hour is the best time to shoot outdoors. Oh, it's so, it's, it's so beautiful, you know, but then again, it's still a tricky shot, you know, to, to get her to, I mean, to I maintain detail in, in her, which was probably, you know, a lot of trickery in Lightroom, but, right. um, you know, because otherwise you get a really great silhouette. You would, you would get a silhouette right there. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we, we did a bunch of just hard silhouettes and really brought the value in the background down. But, you know, I mean, it, this shows what it is you know did um, you uh did you use a slower shutter speed to kind of counteract the silhouette for this um you know corey i don't i don't um <laughs> i'm a super technical guy but i don't remember <laughs> what yeah. i do you no know you know i mean i i really you know it's kind of like my finger it works i'm happy that it works <laughs> muscle so memory you know I'm, all, I'm good, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't put a lot of time into that end of photography. I'd rather put my time into the creativity than, you know, worry about the technical thing. I, I got it. Um, you know, right. physics, uh, you know, with the sun blasting in your face right there, you know, I'm probably, honestly, at like 
f11 500th of a second oh yeah you know it's you still, know it's still but, strong even though it's coming down yeah absolutely. yeah you know so i mean who knows uh right no 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 worries no worries um but yeah let, let me hear about because i know the old gallery oh we we got one more okay all right cool we got a oh. black and white i know you like the black and white yeah so you know here's a really good example of both the rule of thirds, leading lines, uh, texture, you got it all going on in this shot. Yeah. Um, so this is up in Newburyport, uh, Plum Island, I think, uh, or maybe Salisbury Beach, I'm not sure. One of those up there beaches. Okay. And uh, it's my daughter. Yeah. Angel. And yeah, I, she just jumped up on the pole, on, on the whatever, the rail in there. And wow, I, I mean, it's, it's a great shot with absolutely uh, you know so again kids all about the rule of thirds and like lead you know use the elements you got like 10 of them to play with so right. try to incorporate them into all your photographs sometimes you don't need them but you know the movement here you got the the shadows of the um the walkway on yeah on the road. and then you have her running down the railing to me and mm -hmm. it, you, your focal length is going down so it's, it's got a lot of action moving and it and, does and i don't know if this was intentional but i love the the footprints over on the right hand side too oh yeah well i mean they were there uh, <laughs> yeah like i said i don't know if it was intentional but it it fits kind of there yeah well it tells that you know you said the story so you know everybody's running to the beach right and then, uh, you know, a little girl running on the beach, basically, right? Just enjoying it. So it's uh, absolutely. You know, and I, I really, I, well, you know, besides it being my kid and being sentimental that way, it's just a really good photograph. Oh, for sure, for sure. And um, yeah, thank you for sharing all of those. Those are all wonderful photos. Um, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to go ahead and uh, talk about, so the old studio was in Salem. Salem, yeah. Okay, by and the now, water. And now, where's the new studio? So now I'm on um, up in Ipswich, way up on the North Shore. Uh, it's I'm on Route One A, which is Central Street in Ipswich. Really convenient. We're right next to the train station, so you can get here from the city without much of a problem. Okay. I've downsized a bit um, from Salem because that was ridiculous. It was huge. It, yeah. This is a 2,000 square foot space, and the front room we have a um, a gallery set up where we display local artist work. I, right now, I have nine artists in there, and Gary, you know, Gary Sampson from um, UNH down here, his work, a bunch of um, local painters and whatnot. Um, so once a month on first Fridays we're open, but as soon as we can um we'll start more with weekly events and have more workshops and stuff in the space uh, so do you have a date for that yet or no because if not um i'll definitely well, yeah, we're doing um first friday so the first friday in november is just uh two weeks away it's just uh you know it's the gallery will be open we serve wine we can't do food yet um right. there's, there's uh you know music playing it's a, you know it's fun and like I said we we sort of monitor how many people come through here, um, and then the one in December will be a Christmas show, so we're gonna have a, a little bit bigger deal and more art for sale, um, small pieces so people can come and do their Christmas shopping and, and shop local, and uh, you know it's uh it's it's okay and we got I got a workshop frame shop, printing. Um, so is there, do you have signage up yet for the studio? Do you want to uh, put, tell the address so people know where yeah, to find 20, you? It's 24 Central Street and you really can't miss it because um, right now there's 10 24 by 30s in the window. Right. So, and uh, 24 <laughs> Central Street in Ipswich, correct? In Ipswich, Mass. Yeah. All right. And, and what is, how can we find you on social? Um, well, Michael Nemo uh, on Facebook. Michael Namo is just about anywhere. And my new e website is namogallery.com. Right, you want to spell that? Because we I can't oh, sure. uh, write it on the screen yet. N-A-I-M-O.com. 
NaimoGallery.com. Oh, right? NaimoGallery.com. Yeah, I forgot. G A L L E R Y. Yeah. 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 Um, somebody stole my MichaelNamo.com. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Kind of, kind of annoyed at that. Right, um, right. But you can, you're on Facebook and Instagram, right? Yeah, I'm on Instagram, uh, NamoGallery.com, Michael Namo. Um, I'm everywhere. If you just type my name in, you'll find me more places than I even know. <laughs> all right. All right. Awesome. Um, all right. Thank you very much for coming on, Michael. Uh, Thank and you once, so much for having me. This was yeah, cool. Absolutely. And once everything really gets going um, and you start the gallery up, I'll be sure to mention it again. Um, yeah. Well, what I'd, I'd love for you to broadcast from the gallery some night, you know? Yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll try to make yeah, that happen for sure. Have some yeah. fun. Yeah, um, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so I'm going to cut it off with you here, um, but you are welcome to stay in. I'm just going to mute you so you can stay and watch the rest of the show. Cool, man. All right, thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye, Corey. All right. All right, and next up, we have Millie and Cece Henry. Hi, Cece. Hey. And <laughs> Millie, I'm looking to start your video. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Good, good, thank you for being patient. Um, while I was conducting the first interview. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Millie and Cece are mother and daughter. Uh, Millie is actually, she does body paint as well as special effects makeup um, for production, stage productions, um, private projects, anything like that. And Cece has been modeling since forever, at least since I've known her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we've all worked together several times uh, to bring projects together. Um, one of the big ones, I think, uh, yeah, the, probably the biggest one was Seems to Be Streets um, yeah. that, that used to happen. Uh, and that was, uh, they, we had one on Newberry Street. We had one in Faneuil Hall. Just a bunch of painters and yeah. artists coming together with models to create a show. But it was like an outdoor fashion show. Uh, and that was always really fun. We always had a good time doing that. Um, yeah, so, that's where we met. Actually. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking that earlier, but I wasn't hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's where I met you, and um, I met you there, Cece, and I believe Stephanie there as well. I first met Stephanie there. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna start with you, Millie. Um, just how long have you been doing body paint and you know effects makeup? What made you want to get into it? Wow, uh, how long? It, honestly, it hasn't been that long. Probably under under ten years, maybe about seven years. Okay. Um, five five to seven years. So special effects makeup, not that long. About four years now doing special effects. Um, okay. I just did my first movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. You talked. To, go ahead and talk about that a little bit. What yeah. um, What was the production? If you're able, because so, I know sometimes you're yeah. not able to say too much. But yeah, these guys, they're like, "Hey, post, talk about it." You know, so right, right. Um, you could appreciate it. It's fan fiction, um, Marvel fan fiction. Okay. Uh, it's it's an Indiegogo funded indie film. So there, it's called uh, Spider Man uh, versus the Monsters in Manhattan. Oh, okay. You know I can get down with that. I love my yeah. superheroes. And <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Absolutely. You'll, you'll see it coming out. So they asked me, like, last minute, just because of COVID and people not being able to come through to, you know, come out and do the makeup. And it was a paid gig. And yeah. Can't say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been saying I want to do movies. And I finally, as I said on Facebook, popped my movie cherry. So I finally did it. And I'm ready to, like, go full force. So the... Absolutely. And then, yeah. And then, of course, you know, Facebook brings up your memory. So this weekend, it showed me like four years ago, uh, I was doing this live video about making special effects prosthetics. And that's like when I first started. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. 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 No, that's, uh, um, <laughs> so yeah, full that's <laughs> awesome. And um, so you, you travel a lot, too. Yeah. Uh, 
you you've done stuff here. Um, you've done some stuff down in ATL too, right? Um, or was it DC? I know you told me you did some things um, somewhere else. I don't know. I do. I go a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I did do some work while I was down in ATL, but more like for private, like private models and stuff like that. I didn't really get to, you know, get on the whole ATL stage, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do, I want to do the next Raw show in ATL. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. And this is a great stepping stone. You know, you have a movie to put down on your resume now. So, yeah. Um, so. you know, promote that as much as you can and, and see what goes on from there. That's awesome, Millie. Cece, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything for you? How's everything during COVID? Um, I mean, everything during COVID, as expected, has been rough and came with a lot of changes. But I've been well. I've still been able to work a lot. So that's been great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We got to still make money yeah. <laughs> in this environment. Um, and, and as far as yourself, when did you know you wanted to really get into modeling and, and um, you know, be painted and do that, all that stuff? Um, I don't, around the time that mom started doing body paint modeling, okay. um, I knew, like, I was obsessed with a um, next topic from a very age. Um, and it's kind of um but mom needing a model for her upcoming work and body paint work and matching up different face paint gigs for different, um fashion shows and stuff kind of gave me my in to yep. modeling yep. it was great exactly um, and you got to meet a lot of people along the way with that right exactly and i made a bunch of new connects um along the way as she was growing my career was also growing so it kind of all just fit which was amazing yeah absolutely um networking is is very important very important um you know and not only networking because anybody can take business cards but you know following up with people and yeah. you know two months later hey how you been remember we did this show stuff like that so you stay top of mind and then you'll get the projects Exactly. Um, and people will want to work with you. And you know what I mean? That that always um, is a the best way to go about it. Yeah. So. Um, all right. So if we can, I want to start getting you guys photos up. I gave them to Thomas. So let's see Ooh. what's first here. Oh, lovely. I love this shoot so much. OK, so what was going on here? I mean, obviously, you're in the woods. That's some really interesting looking rocks like green <laughs> honestly this is right in high park really yeah um see it's things you got to start sharing your secrets <laughs> <laughs> a photographer found this spot um and i'm always weary about meeting new photographers and stuff um especially Absolutely. in random woods but it ended up being a really dope shoot and a really dope spot that i had no clue. I still don't really know where it is. Oh, okay. I, I Ubered there and I know landmarks. I know there's a baseball park across the street. Um, but yeah, it was it was a really secluded spot and it was yeah, we had some great shoots there. This was one of my favorite shoots. Yeah, and it's it's hard finding secluded spots unless you're willing to drive two hours outside the city, you know. Um, but no, you raised a good point there too. And I don't think I've touched on it yet, but, um, you know, working with new people, uh, a lot of times, you know, you just meet people, you see them from the internet or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta, you know, reach out. Don't be afraid to reach out to people they've worked with. Um, I did. Yeah. 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 Cause you know, and, and if somebody gets offended by that, they're not the ones for you. That's, it's just that simple. Cause you got to keep yourself safe first. Yeah, I brought a friend with me that day. He was completely like encouraged it. He, me and him plan on doing work together in the future. Um, it was, yeah, it was a wonderful experience. It was really Good. cool. Good, awesome. All right, let's see what we got coming up here next. All right. This is also another one of my favorite pieces. Yeah, so um, Millie, you wanna, um, you want to go, I mean, this, this is obviously you a while back, <laughs> but Millie, you want to go ahead and talk about this piece? So this piece we did, it was for an event that was happening at the Dorchester Arts Collaborative. Do you back remember the event? 
Um, it, it was an outdoor event and, and it's interesting because this photographer had approached us about doing like this family mother daughter piece and he, he wanted to like interview us. And he, so he asked me to, you know, do a piece on CC right, so, right. That, so that he could photograph it. And I don't know, it never came to fruition. And then, you it, know, it, so actually huh? it did. So this day I actually recited a mother's poem mm. in, I, in that, and the videos on YouTube. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, so yeah, it was a complete mother-daughter collab, both face paint and model and poetry um, was mother dedicated. Um, and so it was, a, yeah, that was a really cool day. That's great. Yeah, it, everything all came together because the event that we went to at the Dorchester Arts Collaborative was a mother-daughter event too, right? <laughs> and yeah. then, right, so yeah. So yeah, it all came together. It was great, like great community you know right and you did a good job on the paint i mean yeah the the intricacies is something i know i couldn't do that's why i'm behind the camera but. <laughs> Amazing. that was a fun day that was great yeah yeah especially the the connection with mother and daughter for the theme that yeah of course of course uh what do we have coming up so yeah cc was always the first model so your muse yeah. My muse, exactly, <laughs> from the beginning. And she always wanted to be on America's Next Top Model. This was, an, yeah, this was another, this is one of our best work. Yeah, I, I, I've seen several pictures from this shoot um, between you guys, social and stuff. So I shot this, so. You I shot really this. I about that, yeah. You creatively directed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, so it was, yeah, it was great. <laughs> that's a milk bath, right? Yeah. That is a milk bath. Okay, okay. And um, where was this in your house, Millie, or just? <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get to the story. <laughs> <laughs> this was this was my first Airbnb experience. Okay. I had never done Airbnb before. I am now a host, and I would have probably killed whoever did this in my house but <laughs> we did not tell the host what we were doing we just looked on airbnb to find a bathtub like we wanted you know the old, the old claw type right, right. and yeah. we found this place and we just went and like set up lights with gels and everything and we were up to like four in the morning like the people kept coming knocking on the door telling us like like what are y'all doing it was crazy yeah. and we yeah, we had another photographer. We thought we were going to do be able to do some pictures with him. And he ended uh, up getting kicked out. It was, yeah, he it was got so kicked cool. out. Yeah. Also, oh, you were in a and b where the owners were like on site. So they were. Yeah, they were like yeah. downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they even had a rule in their rule book, which of course I didn't bother to read, <laughs> that said like no running the bathtub after three o'clock in the morning or something like that. <laughs> That's just weird, like, but it was like a very specific rule. I was yeah. like, what? Oops. Yeah, they were mad. They left me a really bad review. Like Millie could have potentially been a good Airbnb guest, but <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, at least it wasn't paint everywhere. You were doing a milk bath, so that the cleanup wasn't bad, right? And it was like two shoots in one, though. We like emptied the tub and then refilled it. Okay. Because <laughs> we did like a bubble bath. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is from the same day. That's from the same day, like the same okay. night. Yeah, like the and same. it was yeah, crazy. We're... We were like up all night playing music and like yeah. doing the makeup. So I did the makeup, you know, I set up the lights. It was it was great. It was no, we... yeah, yeah. Um, um, reflection shots and mirrors are not the easiest shots to get, so. Um, it, yeah, it's so hard, like making sure all of the light stands are hidden. I think there's like a light stand behind that towel. It's hard making sure your stuff <laughs> is hidden. When you when you take right. those, <laughs> so yeah, no, that's an awesome job by you guys right there. So um, I want to say that I shot these on uh, um, mirrorless camera, OMD. It's like a Mark two or three OMD mm -hmm. Olympus Olympus. Um, yeah, the mirrorless cameras are becoming a larger part of the um, a, a larger part of the market. I, I still shoot 
DL DSLR, but um, the mirrorless, they do have some nice options. Yeah. So I decided because of what Cece had mentioned earlier, the sort of creepy photographer aspect to start oh, shooting yeah. my own stuff. You know what I mean? So that's mm -hmm. why I got the camera. Yeah. To just shoot my own body painting, but also now I get to do this stuff with my daughter. So yeah, this was a great shot too. I really love this one, the color and everything. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the contrast um, of just, you know, her face, you can see it, but it's kind of hidden. It's mysterious a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And let's see what we have coming up. That's great for your portfolio, CC. <laughs> yeah. I love that one. Absolutely. This was also the same day of that, um, the nude one by the rocks. This was hmm. completely um, a great idea of the photographer was the ace bandage. Um, and I got, I found one and was able to bring it with me. And this just, yeah, the contrast in the lighting was amazing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also one of my favorites. Gives, it gives like vibes of the motherland with just the cloth, yeah. <laughs> the cloth that you're wearing and the way you have it wrapped. Yeah, and of course your hair is awesome. Let me, yeah, <laughs> nature girl vibes, like yeah. definitely everything I stand for, like in the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And I, I like how you didn't um, try to over exaggerate the color. You kind of yeah. made it more moody. Um, but yeah, that definitely works for that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got coming up next here. Uh, what do you guys have anything coming up in the near future? I know Millie, you're working on the film right now. Yeah, I don't know how many more days they're gonna need me, but they're filming mm -hmm. to like fourth. Um, I don't have anything coming up. I was hoping to do some, you know, crazy stuff for Halloween, but I don't know what's going on with if Halloween's still happening this year. <laughs> I think we're doing a fall shoot coming up though soon. We did mention doing a fall shoot. Oh, okay. In, in my backyard because the backyard is looking very fallish. Fall oh, if you have leaves and stuff back there, I would love to shoot back there at some point. Yeah, there's an old couch back there that looks really cool with the leaves falling on it. Okay, and I know we still have to do um, storm. Storm. Uh, yeah, yeah, we still we still have to do the paint for storm. Uh, so that that would be very cool. Um, all right, and I guess we're just waiting for a couple more pictures, but in the meantime, oh, here so, we go. Oh, okay. That yeah. was three streets. Those wings were so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, was that for Seems to be Streets? It was. That, was. that was her first Seems to be Street. That was my second Seems to be Street. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and where she, where was this one? That was right at Downtown Crossing. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, the, yeah. the street, the color of the, yeah, yeah, the mm -hmm. color of the concrete. In front of, okay. in front of Macy's, and they walked all the way up to the State House. And you guys didn't get any pushback that year? Because you remember when we went to Faneuil Hall, we did a Seems to Be Streets in Faneuil Hall, and something was up with the permit or something, and they gave us a hard time. So when you did this one, did they give you a hard time at all? No, this was on the public street, and yeah. the organizer did not get a permit for Faneuil Hall, and Faneuil Hall is private property. Okay. And this is not private property. They just walked up the street in the middle of, you know, what was it, Park, Park Street, I guess. Um, was that like Macy's or something right there? Yeah, so right up the street and then into the commons, and the commons public property, and they just walked up through the commons right to the, to the stairs. And we took, we did the photo shoot on the stairs and, you know, they got, some of my models did get some, you know, cat calls and stuff like that. But just like in Seems to Be Streets, my models are the only ones that are naked. Because <laughs> so, they're painted, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're painted. And Cece, being that she was my daughter and she was like 14 at the time, I made sure she was quite covered. <laughs> yep, yep, absolutely. absolutely. Makes um, sense. Right, um, but still very, you know, painted and creative. So right. Yeah, I hope um I hope it comes back after COVID. Hopefully this this yeah. spring and summer coming up. 
I think I heard. I think I heard something about you know just wait and see. It might be coming back. You know. So right. Stephanie was actually the organizer of Seems to Be Streets. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know so she, is. she did a great job organizing the show. It was a it was a great show, but unfortunately for the Fanny Hall show, we, we wasn't supposed to be in there. Right. So, right. Still an amazing show though. But it was we, still, we still did our thing. Yeah, absolutely. We ended up doing a photo shoot right on the plaza of mm -hmm. um of City Hall, which we did have a permit for. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we, we just hung out there and did a and did a photo shoot. We got we got to do one walk, but the parents were complaining about the naked models. So oh, okay, okay. They wasn't ready for it. So. Yeah, no, and you know, I get it. Um, all right, so what do we have coming up here next? Oh, that's me. That's not us. <laughs> right, right, right. There, there I go. There you go. <laughs> and I think the battery is dying trackpad here. That's all to pick, guys. Oh, great. <laughs> OK, mm -hmm. all right. Um, yeah, so I did send in a few others from the silver shoot we did, but I might have sent them in too late. Uh, but that's OK, because that leaves us some material for next time. Yeah. So. Uh, this is where I want to give you guys a chance to promote yourselves. So can we have your Facebook and Instagram accounts? Uh, CC, you can go first for it right here. Um, so on Facebook, my personal Facebook, it is CC Henry. Um, you S spell it out? Oh, you yep. are. Okay. I got you. <laughs> S-I-S-I-E-N-R-Y. And then I just made my official Instagram for my modeling. It is art, A-R-T, underscore of, O-F, underscore body, B-O-D-Y, zero eight. Um, so yeah, follow me there. I'm posting right. content. Like awesome, awesome. Thank you. And I will definitely be having you on the show again, uh, as well as you, Millie. You want to go ahead? All right. So I am on Instagram and on Facebook as pasties, panties, and paint. So on Instagram, it's with underscores, pasties, underscores, panties, underscores, paint. Um, and Facebook is pasties, panties, and paint, body painting. Uh, I am available for films, for independent films to do special effects makeup. Um, anything you need uh, in that regard in body painting, belly painting, pregnancy painting, I'm available for. I'm also hoping to and looking forward to uh, creating a calendar at some point. So I'm putting that out there. That's something I wanna do. I, I've been saying it for years. I have enough material now, um, especially with the work you and I have been doing together, Corey. So yeah, I'm, yeah. and I'm looking forward to uh, finishing our project together. Yeah, yes. there's a project. Yes, there we go. There's one that we did. For together. sure, but yeah, um, Ruffin, is, uh, excuse me, Thomas is the real MVP. He okay. found us the rest of the pictures. Um, so yeah, this was actually a shoot that all three of us collaborated on. So that's Millie painting Cece and I'm doing the photography. Um, and yeah, so you painted her silver. I, I, I know I brought you an idea, but I don't remember exactly what I was going for. But what we got was really amazing. Yeah, you you just gave me the face, and I gave you the face exactly how you asked and for. You, you well, the colors were a little from different. there, <laughs> and then took it from there. Yeah, yeah, and you, I, the flowers was your idea, and the flowers go really well with the contrast of her face with the purple on the yeah. left side. Um, and yeah, so that that and we got a couple more pictures from that shoot; those will come up. Um, but yeah, no, that was really good. I we actually I submitted those to a couple of magazines, but they were like kind of small and I don't think they really lasted COVID honestly so um but I still have them and you know if I can I'll try to submit them somewhere else so so those can be seen because those were really really nice they, were, they came out great I, I really enjoyed that so yeah that, that the headpiece I made and CC got to really I think she really did her thing as a model on on that shoot you know what I mean yeah um, yeah it was great uh I love I love the the collabo Mm -hmm. And 
just the way it looked on that blue background. The silver yeah. the blue was like really popping. The you know blue was mean? awesome, yeah. Going on. Yeah, that was like a all day. I'm sorry, Cece, go ahead. I said we had the rainbow tutu going on. And right. yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping a couple of more of those pictures um, are gonna come up here. Cause the one where you're sitting um, with, with the rose petals, yeah. Yeah, okay, see so that, was the, that was the face that you like sent me a magazine. I wish we had the original. It was like a, a reference photo of this face that you saw and you was like, I want this half sparkle. Yes. I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I saw, I don't remember if I saw it online. I probably saw it online. Um, but you know, just the kind of two face vibe you get there. Um, yeah. and you did like a great job. Like, so, you know, you did the kind of matte, more matte tone on her face, but then her body was just, um, it was glistening with the, with the glitter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love that. That was great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the beauty makeup, um, you know, I have to, I've, I've kind of felt like I've had to learn how to do and it's, and it's a challenge for me. So it's great when I can incorporate it with the body painting. So that's what I was able to do there. Like you can see in that photo, like the beauty yeah. makeup on the one side, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. uh, I did have to do some beauty makeup, a lot of beauty makeup on the shoot uh, this weekend. And it's not necessarily my forte, but in order to do this work, I have to know the beauty makeup. So right. anytime I get a chance to, you know, incorporate the beauty makeup with the body painting. It's great. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It just opens more opportunities too. Um, you know, if they need you to step in for brush ups and stuff, stuff like yeah. that, at least you know what you're doing. So yeah. You gotta do awesome. it. You gotta know how to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have any more? Is that it? Oh yeah. Paste these panties and paint on Instagram and, oh, yeah. and on Facebook for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that's awesome. And, you know, if anybody needs, you know, I'm always promoting people and what they do and promoting you guys and a whole bunch of other people too. Like, um, I definitely think it's important to support the people that are in your network, um, Absolutely. support small businesses because big businesses wouldn't have got there if they weren't supported when they were smaller, you know? Yeah. And I do want to say just like as mom, like, I think it's great that my daughter's a model and a lot of moms, yeah, there you go. May have a hard time with it. I've definitely gotten some backlash, but <laughs> um, I definitely support her art and what she does. And I think she's a great model. Look at that pose. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was, this was another uh, shot from, from that same shoot. And, you know, like you, like you said, Cece, um, the tutu and just all the colors really set everything off. Yeah, this was, was amazing. amazing. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, uh, say that one more time. Yeah, this was amazing. Honestly, like now that I look back at it, even this picture, like definitely giving me high fashion vibes. I think we had the yes. fan. Um, yeah, and the fan was blowing the tutu and my hair and it was just all amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, no. Just your pose, right? So your pose is just giving off like high fashion, exactly, um, exactly. <laughs> New York runway. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I yeah. love it. Absolutely. Um, and then we have one more. So I'll wait for Thomas to put up that last one. So what was um, like uh, 17, 18 years old, CC? 18, I guess? Yeah. Oh, uh, I actually, so I pulled it. Yeah, she had to be 18 because I pulled up. Um, <laughs> When I was pulling it up, it was in my 2018 folder. It was 18. Yeah. I was 18. There was definitely nipples, so you were 18. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And that's why I blocked them out for the show. Um, <laughs> yeah, and that one. And then this is, one. There we go. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. It took them how many tries to get those out of the air? <laughs> we tried so many times to get the flowers in like, the air and not covering her face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the flowers fell apart. Like we were throwing them so much. <laughs> right, right, absolutely. But um, what was I gonna say? We got the shot though. We got the yeah, shot. No, though. we definitely, we definitely got the shot. No, I'm just looking at it. Um, you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. That Facebook doesn't really do pictures justice. It it, it destroys the quality. Um, 
but yeah, no, this this yeah. picture was was really really awesome, uh, and I'm glad we got it. I was glad we got it. It took us like a half an hour, but it came together and we got it. So that's definitely yeah. magazine worthy. I feel. Oh, it's absolutely. But you know what it is? A lot of um, I don't know. It's such a niche, like the the body painting. Um, it is because mm -hmm. you know the the magazines I sent it to. They didn't just turn me down and be like no they were like we like it but it's not it doesn't fit the theme of our magazine so we got to find something where it fits the theme basically because these are awesome right what were you gonna say cc no i wasn't gonna say anything all right so yeah um <laughs> yeah that is that is that fluffy <laughs> yeah it's the cat that's <laughs> chloe chloe <laughs> chloe Awesome. All right. So yeah, no, thank you guys. This has been really, really fun. Thank it was you. Glad for to have you on. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thanks no problem at all. Um, and as I say, if you have a project coming up, if you have something going on, um, you know, if you're doing a fashion show, anything like that, let me know. So that way the week before you do it, I can have you back on, even if it's just for a few minutes to talk about what you have going on and, um, you know, we can all network together like that, okay? Beautiful. All right. Great to That's see you guys. Have a good great. night. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. Thank you too. Bye.